One, two, and... Uh. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to the Weeps Closet. My name is Neko. I'm Jake. And today we're watching Demon Slayer, episode three, on the season two, or Mugen Train arc. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, last week, we realized that it was going to be, like, an entire, like, a legit recap. Uh, you believe that there were some new scenes? Uh, and, I think and, the conversation between Tanjiro and Rengoku went a little bit further than in the movie. I feel like that was cut out. They said that the arc is going to have additional scenes, which if you do the math, yeah, it should, it's going to have to. Because it definitely wouldn't like spread to just four or six episodes. It would be like so much shorter. Yeah, like yeah, it would, it would be like four or five episodes, but I think they're doing That's six. Yeah, yeah. six. Um, but yeah, it's the movie. It is the movie. It is the movie. But I mean. Here you go. Since it's the movie, it's Rengoku. We got him right here. He looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's too it's, good. It's amazing. It's, the, it's our best figurine by far right yeah, now. Yeah, no, nah, it's too sick. I feel like I feel bad for not having it out for in the rest of the <laughs> episodes or the like, shows. Oh, uh, But, yeah, so not much to recap. Like we said, much of, um, mainly the movie. I, li I like what we're seeing because, again, for me... I only watched it once for you. It might be sli slightly tiring. Mm -hmm. uh, we've already seen a couple of you guys in the comments saying that it, it kind of sucks that some of you just recently watched the movie. Yeah. Uh, but ultimately, I think this is one of those times that we just uh, watch it and expecting there's more. Because uh, like what Jake said, there's there has to be new scenes. And they did mention they have new scenes. So I'm hoping that they does make it, like the deleted scenes make it here. My expectation is just that it's exactly the same as the movie. Because at first we were like, oh, it's going to be like completely different. And then we we're like, maybe it'll be from like Rengoku's point of view. And then we're like, maybe there'll be like new scenes. And it's just like, fuck it. Everything. It's going to be the same exact thing. So whenever <laughs> there's something new, I'll, I'll be like, oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> but granted, we do we did not have the reaction for the movie, so this is for you guys yeah, the reaction that's, for that's the good, movie and good. our thoughts in there. So without further ado, uh, follow us in Twitter, check our Twitch, especially because he's about to like stream right now. So mm -hmm. you probably would have seen that a couple like what three days ago, I guess, because this comes out on Tuesday. No, uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. So yeah, three days ago you would have seen it. Um, I don't know, just. Go to Funimation, watch it there, and then come back. Follow mm -hmm. us on Patreon. The Uncut mm -hmm. is there. Mm -hmm. And we're starting. Three, two, no swimmers. Here's a question. Mm -hmm. If they've seen the movie, can they watch this reaction without having seen this episode? You got a point. If They can, definitely. Uh, but if you haven't, please watch the movie or watch the episodes because they're pretty good. Yeah, our boys reunited with his family. I do wonder, did he ever have anybody like wake up at least once? Or is like these four the first few that actually woke up once from the, his uh, slumber? I don't know. It's a good question. The whole point is that you're being put in like the like ideal dream state that you want to be in, like the mm. most perfect situation. And it's sort of like, I don't, I don't even know. It's not like a lucid dream, I don't think. You have to, like, figure it out yourself that you're in a dream. Mm. How often do you, like, realize that you're in a dream and you kind of manipulate it? When I was a kid, it happened a lot, but not so much anymore. I don't even remember what, I, what it was. Rarely do I remember, remember what it was. I just know that I do dream in black and white. Really? Do you really? That's yeah. weird. Are you colorblind? No. I mean, okay. No, I mean, I shouldn't be. People say that I am, but I don't think so. <laughs> I, I, I guess I gotta take a test, huh? <laughs> this is, being colorblind is definitely something that other people would know before you, I think, though. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> because I was telling them, like, I cannot play uh, Apex Legends and be Bloodhound because I cannot play with the ultimate. I just can't see well. Really? It, it, everything just merges together. Uh, yeah, the, the adorable dream. Yeah, I love this. I think what I love the most is that finally we get her without the muscle, the mm -hmm. nozzle, and just talking. Which, I think you made the point that she doesn't even need it anyway. Yeah, I don't know why she has it any anymore, because, like, she clearly has shown control. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Now, if, if she took it off and then she tasted blood, that might be a different story. But yeah. until that point, I, I would like to see later in the show her, her not have yeah. it. Because she is probably my favorite character. And I was saying, because I think I said this with you guys, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, I said with uh, to you guys that I think the reason why they don't have her <laughs> is because probably her personality would counteract a lot with uh, clash a lot with uh, Tanjiro. Yeah. So it would be like two chiefs and not enough Indians type mm -hmm. of thing. But I would like to see them like not go head to head, but like kind like, of have com conflicting yeah. ideals. Yeah. <laughs> Ponjaro. I'll be honest, that is horrifying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god, that's funny. I don't remember them going as in depth in this dream in the movie about the father just like out of nowhere. That's what, that's quitting. what I was saying. Like, I don't know why he just like, his whole nature changed. Oh well, because of the mother passing away, but mm -hmm. like. Because that makes me think, if the dad was just as passionate as Rengoku is, does that mean that if Rengoku had the th same thing happen to him, would he react the same way? Because mm. probably he, it's just that the dad just puts uh, put so much passion and love to the, you know, the relationship that it just... Kind of broke him. Yeah, made everything else pointless. Yeah... That was, a, that was really weird sound design right there, like the the hand clamping down, yeah. or the mouth clamp, clamping down on the hand. Yeah. Could you imagine if you had that and you, like, that'd be, I, uh, yeah. yeah, it'll be creepy. <laughs> it'll be creepy and a lot of different ideas will come to a lot of different people. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. <laughs> I did like this idea too. I would have just kept on running until I hit it with my face. It's faster. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and watch the move, like watch this part of the movie. Yeah, like that, the actual whole thing, pieced together. Yeah, I remember this next part. I, I love. Yeah, I, this was so cool. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, and he's still asleep. So crazy! I love the uh, the hand marks and the neck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the will to live is too freaking high up there, man. It's so good. <laughs> That's just Rengoku. I've had some. I mean, I've had the ones that they sell you, like if they were bread. Not a huge fan. I don't think I've ever had rice crackers. They some people do tend to like cover them with peanut butter. Makes them taste better. Mm. But like I've had just the simple thing and it's, an, I mean, it's salty to a degree, <laughs> like somewhat salty. It was right there where, where he realized like, wait a second, what? Why did I say that? That's actually pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, that little detail, he thought he was carrying her. Yeah, because it, it, it shows the, the uh, muscle memory of doing mm. things and saying things. It's like, where the hell is Nessica? Because, like, I haven't seen her in, like, two days. <laughs> See, like, Loki, I, I, I don't... I believe that he doesn't understand why he said it. It's like, what does it matter if it's broad daylight? But it's, like, so automatic for him. It's like, oh, yeah. it's broad daylight. So that, those little things I do enjoy. They, they did pay attention to detail and what things... Like, these people are always trying to train for... That's sort of Same accurate. Nature. That's sort of accurate to a dream, though. Like you, like when you experience something in real life, you do have that. Even if if you don't know you're in a dream, you still have that like second nature, like uh, muscle memory that you were yeah. talking about, or like you'll react to some something in a different way, like in a way that you wouldn't when you were awake. Yeah, and that's that's why I mean nightmares they tend to happen because like you you react just as if you would be seeing those things mm -hmm. in real life, but in a dream you can just freaking like. Uh, Take control over it. I wonder if this is sort of similar to Rengoku in that it's like Tanjiro's will to live. Mm. And we're seeing that like in the form of Tanjiro. It's funny. He woke, like he woke up here. It's like, oh, another dream. Yeah, that realization's really sad. Dude, I cannot wait. Uh, I mean, y'all probably see already saw the episode, but uh, in Ruby episode four, season three, volume three. Like, Mikey has some theories about, like, the Shinee family. It's that I was looking at their eyes and how everybody has the same qualities. I, like, I thought of, like, the same thing. Oh, my gosh. We're, we're going off topic. I know. <laughs> but it's 
I kind of wait for y'all to hear but that yeah, part. Ruby. I love this part where she just bashes her head into him. <laughs> She's the one bleeding. <laughs> Is this like a family thing? It's like we we all need to headbutt for a living. <laughs> Like, whose first response is, oh, oh let's God. wake up. I mean, let's uh, headbutt people. The exploding blood was perfect yeah. for that scene. It's so good. Nice. That looks so good. Ah, fucking hurts. Yeah. Just, just go. Don't look back. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think what did it to me for me in the movie is the, the scream of the little brother. The mm. name the, it hasn't shown up yet. Uh, Screw you, fake. <laughs> this has got to be really hard, though, because this is right before Nezuko was a demon. Mm -hmm. I hate this part so much, man. I mean, it's good, but I hate mm -hmm. it. <laughs> Looking at his hair and then looking at Nesuko's, it, it's funny how like the hair changes color depending on like if you're turning into a demon or not. Because Nesuko's, Nesuko's hair uh, didn't have the red tips or orange tips or whatever tips they were. Oh, I didn't realize that. Nekusos is what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Nekuzos. That's your demon. Demon art right there. Oh, God. Dyslexia. <laughs> Everything just changes positions. <laughs> this part always reminds me of Rick and Morty. That episode where it's like Inception. Mm. And Rick's like, Morty, it's like Inception. But if you die in the dream, Morty, you die for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I would be way too scared to cut my own head off. Same. That's what you say. Oh, wow. That was actually a pretty good ending. Yeah, they they chose was, a good ending for that episode. That was really good. If you haven't seen the movie, it's a good ending. Um, I'm surprised that uh, they show him doing this. I forgot. I thought that they showed the kid walking around. and Oh, wait, no, because I think that's him retelling what happened and why he didn't do it. That episode really got you. It did. It, yeah. it's, a, it's the kid. It's the little brother. It always affects me so bad. I, I, I agree with you because I, I hate that, too. Like, it's good. I don't think it's manipulative, like emotionally manipulative, but it kind of, sometimes it kind of feels like that to me because, I mean, I think you know, uh, I used to have two brothers, like little brothers. I, I don't have two little brothers anymore. Yeah. I have one little brother. And there, there's a scene actually, it's very similar to this, where it's in Oko's Inn, which I've recommended to, they, they never watch, I'm not talking about you, but Mike and Meryl, they never watch anything I recommended them, but they would love this movie. Oko's Inn is what it's called, and there's... Mm. I, I'm kind of spoiling something. There's a scene towards the end where the main character and bully are finally, like, making amends. Mm. And you figure out why the bully is so... Such, like, an ass. And you got something similar happen. And, yeah, and there's this scene where she's, like, crying about her sister that she... I don't... I think she barely knew or, like, never met because she died. And when she's explaining this, you see, like, a... Uh, like a... 
kind of a spiritual form of her sister come in and like kiss her on the head. Mm. And it's like every time I see that scene, it's like eight seconds long. It's like so quick, like a uh. blink and you'll miss it type thing. Every time I see that, I fucking lose it. It's like one of the, it's like one of the three like parts in a movie that just makes me lose it. And it's not like emotionally manipulative, but it, it's it just hits so hard because I relate to that so much. And this is sort of the same. Like the reason I wasn't talking for like five whole minutes is because I'm like trying to be strong. And there's like yeah. this little brother that's like that Tundra is not gonna get to see live his life. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like I think I think it, stri- it strikes a, a chord on me because of the fact that like all my family's back in PR, mm. so like I don't I don't see my little brothers anymore, and I like, I barely talk to them, and it's just because of how busy the life is over here. Um, but yeah, so that that idea of like you're just walking forward, keeping on, and you know, not necessarily paying attention to them and whatnot. Uh, that that kind of like hits home because mm-hmm. it's like yeah I barely know what's going on I barely know what's happening over there I don't I just recently received pictures of my nephew and he's gigantic and I didn't even see them like, like he was tiny so things like that and then just knowing that he really wants to be there too you know it, it, it did affect me a little bit uh, or a bit or uh, too much or, yeah. I think we got a lot more out of this episode than we thought we were gonna get yeah I, did, I, I didn't funny. expect this part to be here uh, I'm sorry <laughs> I'm really excited to see because we got what three more left. Like, Wait, no. I think uh, like two more. I so mean, this is episode was this episode four? E, no, this is episode three. Oh, we got four more then, right? It was it was it seven episodes? Was it seven like, episodes total? Six of the Mugen Train arc. So then, yeah, we still yeah we still have four more, and they have to. We're basically like almost halfway through the movie at this yeah, point. Yeah, and in the next one, I can see I can see the two dreams finishing. Uh, Inosuke's and and Inosuke's and Zenitsu's, and then they're like Rengu is technically out of his already. I can see them. I can see them going more in depth with that, mm-hmm. to where it's almost a full episode, but then they're gonna have to start kind of the uh, fight between what's the Tanjiro and the lower three or something lower yeah, one uh, lower yeah, yeah, one yeah lower one the, the guy on the train yeah um, I forgot his name too so I'm just kind of curious how they're going to space out these episodes but I would I would really like to go more in depth with like Zenitsu and Inosuke <laughs> I just remember this, the, the Shears part and I cannot wait to see that part mm-hmm. uh, with Zenitsu uh, but nonetheless if we keep on rambling then it just rambles at this point mm-hmm. uh, so with that said I don't know go watch the next one guys um, yeah. it, it was fun it, it's fun that you're with us uh, in this journey with us again going through the movie because we didn't get yeah. to do it the first time yeah even if you've already seen it and you know we've seen it it's still like still it's still in pretty insightful actually today was yeah it was but with that said guys this was the Weeps Closet see you in the next one goodbye hope you guys enjoyed another Weeps Closet reaction a special thanks to our Patreons we appreciate your extra support to keep this channel going Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. See you in the next one.